This is about a program that may stop some people from receiving their next paycheck. The question is whether or not it's fair. Is a new program aiming to give a hand up to those in need, infringing on their constitutional rights? People on welfare will now have to be drug tested before receiving their government money. $500,000 has been set aside for the pilot program in Michigan, aiming to prevent welfare money funding drug use. Welfare recipients who refuse to take a drug test will lose cash assistance for a year. So obviously there are a lot of people for a pilot program like this, which it is right now, who would say, okay, well, here's the pros. Maybe it ensures tax dollars go to people who really, really need it for the right things. But I have to say that who, people who really, really need it, if somebody has a drug or alcohol dependency problem, they need it just as much as the one that doesn't. Mm -hmm. But the good th needs help and assistance. No, but when you talk about and money, money, the point of the program would be, okay, maybe identifying... Well, you're trying to control where the money goes, but those people, all, everyone needs help. Well, they identify somebody's using drugs, but then do they try to help they them? They do. To beat the problem, yes, they do? Yes, well, they submit them to drug and alcohol counseling for a year. They actually, yeah. So I, I, my question for you is, th there is a positive side of this, as I read more about it, is that mm. the people would then, if they if they are drug addicts, they can still receive Care. Their, their payment, but they're also given resources for substance abuse programs at the same time. So there's I, not, but yeah. you can't just, I mean, where I would disagree with you is this concept that, like, you know, if, if you're... People would say if you're aiding and abetting people's drug habits and not offering any support beyond just, hey, here's money to, to go use on illicit drugs, there there I mean, is people a lot of people would say they have a problem with that. Well, I have a what I have a problem with is the chance of a false positive result because we've discussed here Absolutely. on this show before there are a lot of non-illegal, non-abusive drugs that can Absolutely. cause a, a urine toxic and, and, and just doing the test is very expensive. That's right, it is. Oh. He's, they, they are going to set aside $500,000. I guess conceptually I have a cha I'm challenged by the notion that we're advancing the idea that anybody who's receiving government assistance is either shiftless or drug addicted yeah. and we know that even in that test, the study in Florida, the amount of people who were on government assistance and, and who were drug tested was actually 2%. The national average is 8.7% of people. So the who point have, is... Right, that they are using drugs at a lower rate than the national average. But, so the but idea of testing people... Would you believe in a no program sense. where... Because my biggest issue with this is this whole idea of discrimination and who you pick and who mm -hmm. you're going to drug test. A lot of professions, a lot of jobs, before you can get your first sure. paycheck, you undergo drug testing. Sure. Pilots are so drug a, tested. I mean, it's a, the so fact, drug testing is more and more. Well, drug positive. testing it's for doctors, doctors is on the ballot yeah, right. this so year that in false California. The positive concern of yours is across pretty much sure. all professions. Right. Really, I think the, the hot button issue here is. Who gets tested and yeah, do you test how do you, everyone how or do you, you test some? And again, in medicine, we say it all the time, before you do a test, you should know what you're going to do with those results. Exactly. And right now, we're not sure if that's... Well, and the good thing, if whether you're for or against this, at least they're starting it as a pilot program as opposed to making... See if it works or not. Law, because sure. this could be abused, misused. There's a lot of things that could go wrong with this. Absolutely. So um, time will tell how this plays out. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.